guys, today we're going to be making some other chicken. And the ingredients we're using is going to be cream of chicken, cream of mushrooms, diced potatoes. Corn is going to be our side dish. Um, this is the um, rice that we're using, and we're going to do a side of a cornbread as well. I've already pre seasoned my chicken, as you can see. And you can use any kind of seasoning of your liking that you want to use. Um, I chose to use some um, chicken seasoning and garlic pepper. And um, I think that was it. So we put a little bit of paprika in and our parsley flakes on the top. Now I am going to add water in the pan. I've already pre-washed my chicken. Don't forget to wash the chicken before you get started. And I have my onions. Um, and bell pepper that we're going to just sprinkle over the top of the chicken just um, helps for flavor to your pot oops that one went where it wanted to go and I chop my onions big because um, my family too much don't care for onions, so I usually do a big so we can easily just separate it from the food. But as I stated, it helps the pot taste better. So I've already preheated my oven to 375. So um, it's been on for about 10 minutes. So now my pan is ready to go in. I'm going to leave that in the air for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'll be back with you guys. I'm going to put this back in the oven. I mix my sauce together and the cream of chicken and mushrooms and add it to the pan. And now everything is all together. As I said, I'm going to leave the room before you top off for a little while because I like um, that it cooks up a little faster. I want my meat to be off my bone uh, when I'm doing my snappy chicken. It tastes so much better on top of the rice. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the oven for an hour. I'll see you guys soon. I almost forgot to add my diced potatoes in there. You can either get a potato yourself and chop it up, but I'm doing it the easy way today and getting a can of diced potatoes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm I did pour the water off first. And you can mix it up in your pan as well. What is that? All right, you guys, so we're gonna mix the cornbread now. Let me back it up a little. Add the milk, which was two thirds. It was two thirds of a cup that I did. I'm gonna add my liquids first, so just the milk. Alright, so I'm gonna add the butter. One stick of butter. Or you can do oil, whatever you choose to do. And um, the box that you do one egg per um, box, but I'm doing three eggs because I like to make sure my cornbread is stick together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mix it.
So my lovely assistant Camille has already um, greased the pan for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, cornbread mix in my bun pan. I know you're probably saying why I'm using a bun pan. You just like it to have like that cake touch to it. tells you to bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes but because I'm using a butt pan which I have to put the oven to 400 um, I'm gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes just to make sure it cooks all the way all right guys everything came out like how I wanted it to the meat is all broken up in the inside gravy's nice and thick Time to fix the food. 